Hi, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and today I'd like to answer a question from a viewer from a video that I made yesterday called Which is Correct by NEC 2023. In the video, I gave two examples of grounding electrode conductors being attached to grounding electrodes by acorn clamps. A grounding electrode conductor is oftentimes a wire that comes from your main panel and it goes to a grounding electrode, which oftentimes is an eight foot bar, which is copper clad and is driven down into the earth for eight feet. Then the grounding electrode conductor, which we call a GEC, usually has to go to a second grounding electrode, which is another bar driven eight feet into the ground. So the connection that we were discussing is right here. Here's the answer I gave in the video. Here's one brand of grounding clamps. And we commonly call these acorn clamps. And so look in the manufacturer's specifications. And right here it says number of conductors, one. Conductor size range, 10 to one AWG. So we're using six AWG. So we can only use one conductor in this clamp. So the photograph on the left shows this done properly and the photograph on the right is actually a code violation because they did not adhere to listed manufacturer's specifications. And that brings me back to the viewer's original question. What about using two clamps on a single ground rod? And I actually found this image on the internet. So I think that some people do it this way. Notice that the GEC is not continuous in this depiction. So let's go to the 2023 NEC code book and find out if this is really allowed. This is 2023 NEC article 250.64C, continuous except as provided in 250.30A5 and A6, 250.30B1 and 250.68C. Grounding electrode conductors shall be installed in one continuous length without a splicer joint. If necessary, splices or connections shall be made as permitted in the following. One, splicing of the wire type grounding electrode conductor shall be permitted only by irreversible compression type connections listed as grounding and bonding equipment or by exothermic welding process. Two, sections of bus spars shall be permitted to be connected together to form a grounding electrode conductor. Three, bolted, riveted, or welded connections of structural metal frames of buildings or structures. And four, threaded, welded, brazed, soldered, or bolted flanged connections of metal water piping. Because in our example, the GEC is not continuous and it appears that the connectors are regular acorn clamps, I would say that this example is not acceptable by 2023 NEC code. However, I would say that if the GEC were continuous and two clamps were used, each with only one wire in them, this would be legal by 2023 NEC. You would just have an extra acorn clamp on the grounding rod. We would then have the continuous GEC as stated in 250.64C and the manufacturer's specs would not be violated by having too many six AWG wires in one clamp. What's your opinion? Please let me know what you're thinking in the comment section. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.